Well, that was fun. I've got a project for you. These are Vector Finesse Hedamame headphones, and they are amazing. And what's really cool, Morgan from Vector Finesse is on his way. He's gonna be here really soon. This is the project. Get out the kit for the Hedamame headphones, get the parts printed, and then hopefully assemble them and listen to them. Let's take a look inside the kit though. Uh, I, I'm kind of excited to get into this. Morgan and I have been in contact for almost two years now. Joel, look at that, it says Joel, these are mine. Mine, 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 mine. mine. Thanks for buying this Hedamame kit. I owe you some money, Morgan, I'm not gonna lie. Inside we've got, look at that, there's a microphone, uh, cables, hardware, oh, comes with the screws, that's good. What is this? Oh, these are the cups that go on either side of the ear. Okay. And what is this? Oh, 40. These are 40 millimeter. Well, these are the drivers. These are the speakers. These are the things that produce the sound in your ear holes so that you can hear music real good. Now it's time to print the parts. Now, printing the parts is a lot of fun. There are quite a number of them, but here's where it gets really cool. So I know Angus has talked about these headphones before. And in fact, my friend Ben, it's Boy in Space. He's got a pair as well. Daniel Modbot, I believe he's got some. I wanted to be unique. I wanted to be a special little flower. So what did I do? I enlisted the help of my Mark Forged Mark II 3D printer. And a lot of my parts are gonna be in Onyx with carbon fiber reinforcement. The coolest, strongest headphones around, right? Let's get to printing. Here we go, Onyx with carbon fiber reinforcement. These parts are all for the Hedamame headphones and I love how these turned out. They are very strong. These are strong parts and I would imagine these headphones are not gonna get broken easily. One of the things that Mark Forge does that looks incredible is the way that supports are done with the Onyx material. I actually have some right here. And when you pull the supports out, Hold on. When you pull the supports out, they just pop. And the layer you see is pristine. It looks incredible. I can't believe how good that layer looks that's been supported. Mark Forged has done an amazing job with that. Now, there are other parts that have to be printed. And while I want these to be strong, like Mark Forged material strong, there is some creative license that I want to take. And so there are a few parts I printed on my Prusa print farm in Protopasta Nebula. go back from the print farm and check out these pieces. This is in Nebula from Protopasta. The 3MF file that Vector Finesse provides is kind of adjusted a little bit. So I used Prusa Slicer and it has support blockers and ways of blocking certain layers and top layers or whatever, but it makes it so the gyroid shows through. And I, I can't believe how good these pieces look. And here's some more pieces that I did. And you can see the gyroid is actually showing through. And I think that might be the coolest part. I don't know, we'll see. There is a part that won't fit on the Mark Forged Mark II build plate. And it's the headband, it's the spring. It's the thing that holds the cups to your ears and makes you look really cool. It won't fit on the Mark II. But thankfully, my friends at Engitype have an X7 and they're gonna print one for me. My Mark II can print most of the parts, but I'm in need of something bigger than what it can print. And so I'm here at Engitype because they've got a Mark Forge X7. This thing has a much larger build plate and I've got the parts printed. It's in Onyx like I've done on my Mark II, but this time it's fiberglass. It's a fiberglass strand going through these. And I'm really excited because they look phenomenal. And, oh, look at that. That is so, so good. So now what I do is I take the spatula of truth, get it under there. Fantastic. And now I've got two fiberglass filled headbands for my headphones. And oh my gosh, these look great. They feel great, they're nice and light. This is exciting. All right, let's go back and build them. 
check this out. This is in onyx, but with fiberglass. And the goal is to make it stiff and sturdy, but with a little bit of give, because again, that's gonna have to hold something on my head and I don't want it to be too tight. I don't want it to squeeze my brains out through my nose. No one really wants to see that. This is an onyx with fiberglass fiber, a continuous fiber, and it looks amazing. One of the things I love about the Mark Forged machines is the surface quality you get. I've seen a lot of people who have these machines print fantastic things. I know my friends at Haddington Dynamics have used Mark Forged machines for the shells on their robotic arms and it always looked really good. So these headphones are gonna look really good as well. Okay, I've got the parts, I've got the kit. All that's left to do is assemble them. Hopefully Morgan's gonna make it. It's ringing. Hey, Morgan. Hey, how's it going? Uh, great, uh, are you almost here? Uh, yeah, I'm behind the camera. This is Morgan. Hey, dude. Hey. It, it's great to finally meet you. So Morgan, Vector Finesse, what is Vector Finesse? Uh, Vector Finesse is like me and my buddy seeing what we can do in 3D printing land. And then when I designed the Hedamame, that all kind of changed. And we are trying really hard to make products that you can print at home. Okay. So you can get like incredible value out of your 3D printer. We're, we're trying to make it possible for you to print something that you might find on store shelves and get it for a lot cheaper, but with no loss in quality. Well, and customizable because part of Entirely. the joy of this, at least for me, was being able to use not just really cool colored filament, but materials that not a lot of other people make. And so yeah. not only does this become uh, it, a really cool build, but this is self-expression. This is a unique opportunity for me to make something my own. Like people have customized it. phone cases. Yeah. Why not customize headphones? I mean, walk into Best Buy and try and find a not black or white set of headphones. First of all, I'm thankful for you to be here. I know assembling these can be difficult. We have the kit parts for the Hedamame. Yes. And I have all of the printed parts laid out that, that I have. And what's the first step in putting these together? Well, I mean, First of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to finally get to do this on camera on someone else's channel. Uh, this is exciting. I've seen too many people that get to do it themselves and I finally get the chance. Um, yeah, yeah, you can have at this. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, I want to do it. I want to, I want to assemble these. I will step back and you enjoy the magic, nice. Morgan. Morgan. Hey, it looks like you're almost done. Yeah, just plugging them in. Now these are oh. these are mini XLR. Yep, that's that mini, mini XLR. XLR. Cool. Oh, I think they look man. pretty good. They look really good. So one of the things uh, we we this is different, and what I had done was printed two left pieces. So we had to really quickly print right pieces, and I used a roll of nebula that wasn't the same as this. But it's really cool because as we were talking earlier, it looks like it is kind of hot yeah. purple going into a hot blue. Yeah, yeah. Then the cold purple, cold blue, it's almost like a transitional element. And when you're making something personal using 3D printing, that's kind of the neat part. All right, can yeah, I try these yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, let's see how they feel. Let's see what you think. Yeah. Oh, these are nice. Wow, these are, these are great. I was worried that this, that this was gonna be too stiff. No, the, the, the clamp force on them feels nice. It's, uh, that's wild. That's got to be the strongest pair of Hedamame that exists the on strongest, this planet. The strongest headphones on the planet. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right now. Awesome. Uh, this is cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks so much for having me. I gotta I gotta keep moving here. So oh, you do. Okay. Well, before you go, oh. look in the camera. Tell yeah. people where they can find out more about this because we still have to listen to these. But yeah, you're up first. Um, yeah, find us at shop.vectorfinesse.com. Um, we sell kits for these. Uh, we got the downloads there. Um, we have a subreddit that's r slash vector finesse, and you can find all of our updates and things there. We are continuously updating these and uh, finding new ways to to, to improve these. And oh, I almost forgot. We have minimame. Whoop. Hedamame. We have hedamame. Minimame. And minimame. Cool. They are uh, the, kind of a more portable, more affordable version. So um, can't wait to see you all. I can't wait for you to hear those. I can't wait either. We'll listen I, to these. Uh, I know you got a jet, man. I really appreciate you coming by. Thanks for having me. We'll see you later. Goodbye. He's going to exit through the print farm. Bye, Morgan. Bye. Now it's time to listen to these headphones. And just right off the bat, I want to make sure you know uh, I'm well aware of my limitations. I don't have high-end audio equipment. Um, I do have a home theater at home. I like when stuff sounds good. I'm going to wear those for you. I use noise-canceling headphones on the airplane. Like, my, my use cases are very simple. I think it's important to use headphones within the context that you typically listen to sounds or music. And in this case, I'm going to watch a YouTube video. Go figure. This one, though, is from my time in Malta, where Stargate Studios Malta helped create that new outro that you've seen. And the outro has music attached to it. That music, of course, I have a license to play, so it makes sense that I could listen to it here. I'm going to put on these headphones and then we're going to hit play. I, would, I invite you to listen to it with me. If you can, at this point, either put on your headphones or pause the episode and, and put on your headphones or adjust your speakers and let's listen to this together. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Like I said before, I'm not an audiophile, so I'm not gonna be able to judge uncompressed classical audio or, I listen to MP3s, like my, my stuff is compressed. I, I watch YouTube videos, my stuff is compressed. And so I'm listening to things in here in the same context I would. Um, they sounded fantastic. Like they sounded really, really cool. The bass response was there, which was really important, especially within that track uh, that we have in the outro. Um, the, the highs were there. Uh, it just, it, it sounded good. It sounded really, really good. And I'm really, really happy with how they sounded. I do have other headphones and they, they sound good as well. Like I said, my taste isn't necessarily as discerning. However, what does break these apart though, are that these are custom. These are, uh, these are a method of self-expression. These aren't white, these aren't black, these aren't the typical colors of headphones you find. Look at, this is Protopasta Nebula filament. This is Mark Forged Onyx with fiberglass reinforcement. As I alluded to, I believe earlier, I did talk about how phone cases themselves are a method of personal self-expression and headphones really should be that way as well. The kit itself is Super easy to put together. Well, at least from what I saw Morgan doing, I, I don't think I will have a problem with it. I think at the end of the day, if you're looking for something that gives you a really high quality sound for reproducing sounds that you listen to and offers you the ability to not just have a method of self-expression, but also infinite repairability, I think that's important to mention here. And I think if you're looking for that, you can get these with Vector Finesse Hedamame or the Minamame headphones. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I really invite you to check that out because this this really feels like something special. Like I could I could buy a kit, print parts, and give these out as a gift, or I could 
I could reprint parts and assemble this and have my own color scheme. I could do high five blue. Uh, I could do some more reds or some greens or just pick any number of filaments. Co-extrusion, tri-extrusion filaments, like the possibilities now are endless. I really wanna thank you for coming along on this journey with me that's years in the making. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Thanks Morgan for stopping by and putting these together. Uh, I do have some other kits I will assemble myself. Thanks to Engitite for providing that fiberglass reinforced band at the top. I really appreciate that. And the Mark Forge parts, they look really good. Ah, oh, these are just so good, I'm so happy. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Listen to all the things, and as always, High five.